Good morning. Hey, this is Jeffrey. I'm going to do a quick, uh, this is going to help somebody. I've had three people this week uh, struggling with this, but with with deals with, with, your, with your mind and, and having issues with uh, dwelling on things where your mind's just going places it shouldn't go and, and um, you know, dwelling on, on uh, things that are just kind of making you a bit a bit anxious uh, and that kind of thing and, and you know, we go you know I, each time you know I take 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 people to the word whether it be via text or what and what we're going to look at is Isaiah 55 11 through 13 first and uh, we just talk about joy and peace how joy and peace is a weapon against the kingdom of darkness you know we're told again and again and again to be in joy and peace but as uh, as people, uh, we tend to dwell on negativity, uh, things like that, and that's a rabbit hole that oftentimes it's it's hard to return from and recover. And so, uh, with with helping these folks this week, uh, uh, we look at the scripture, and and then we do the scripture, and so uh, and to realize that the word of God is there to help us not to be an, a commandment to that we must do but just like saying okay drink your water uh it's important that we uh do what the word of god says uh for a fruitful life here and so i'm just going to read this uh right here from isaiah 55 11 king james version it says so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing wherein I sent it. And a lot of people know that verse, you know, and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, uh, they speak that, you know, word of God cannot return void and that kind of thing. But have you looked at the next verses? It says, for ye, that's you, for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. That's your job. For ye shall go out with joy where your mind dwells, Psalm 91, where one, Psalm 91, one, where does your mind dwell? Uh, for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. And then when you do that, the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap, your hand, clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord uh, uh, for a name, an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. And, you know, reading that, you know, that's our job to go forth and, and you know, uh, joy and peace. And, you know, a lot of it, like I said, with Psalm 91, is where does our mind dwell? And some, some of us out there, if we're dwelling on ne uh, negative things, we may need to just take a second-by-second second adjustment uh, to, uh, as I told the people this last week, is to hold your only job is to hold on to joy and peace. Hold on to it like it's a football in a football game. That you're not, you know, that you're not, whatever happens, that your only job, hold on the ball. Joy and peace. Whatever happens, whatever circumstance, you're going to be full of joy and full of peace, and and uh, be kind of simplifies things, and and to not to not be stripped of the ball. You know, if cir circumstances come up, no fumbles is what I keep telling uh, these folks. No fumbles. No fumbles. Your job is to hold on to the ball, and so for the joy and peace, and uh, they're finding that you know as they can make. This, their, uh, how can you say, their habit versus the addiction of being in stress and anxiety, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help their life. Like I said, the Word of God is, is true and it's here to help us. And the uh, uh, thing is, you know, whether we apply it or not, it's not God's fault, you know. Uh, so the other verse that uh, looking at that on this is Isaiah. Uh, 12 and uh, I want to read this right here it's real simple and it says in that day thou shalt say O Lord I will praise thee though thou wast, wast angry with me thine anger was turned away and thou comfortest me behold God is my salvation and I will trust I will not be afraid you know fear has many forms 
you know, fear, stress, dread, anxiety, all forms of fear, and they all come from the same father. They all come from the pit. And, uh, you know, we can make them up, make them up in our own heads. And it's important, like I say, where our mind dwells. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. What song are you singing? Are you singing negativity? Are you, what, what's coming out of your mouth? Uh, he has also become my salvation. Therefore, with joy, with joy shall ye draw out of the draw water out of the wells of salvation. With joy. Joy is your ladle. It's your bucket. How how big is your joy? Are you drawing out? Are you drawing out with a fingernail? Are you drawing out with a with, with a fifty gallon drum? Or a big old excavator bucket? How much joy are you running in? Because with joy shall ye draw out, draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day ye shall say, ye who's going to say this? Ye shall say, praise the Lord, ye call upon his name, and declare his doings amongst the people. That's your job. Make mention in his name and is exhausted. Uh, ex ex sorry, exalted. Uh, sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. It's where your mind dwells. Don't fumble the football and let, let, let the enemy, you know, we're, and, and Ephesians 6, we're to put on the full armor of God that we've done everything we can to be able to stand you know, against the wiles of the devil. You know, uh, God's not in control of, of every, all things like people often think. So there's a whole lot of awful things going on out there, and it's not God's fault. Uh, but if the people, you know, we, and I also run into a lot of people that love, love, they say they love God, but they don't love his word. You know, they, they don't lo love what it says. And it's and it, that's our job. He, we, we, none of us will have, uh, that have seen, had the word sitting on that coffee table all those years will have any excuse of why, uh, why we didn't know. So, and then like I say, Isaiah 26, 3, uh, be the next one. Uh, he who keeps his mind on him shall be in perfect peace. And and those right there, you know, and you read Philippians and it talks about Paul being in great joy regardless of circumstances and telling others to be in joy. You know, uh, you know, depression, anxiety, all those things, those give the devil, you know, ample room to, to root in with you. And then, of course, you, a lot of times, like I say, your mind can just go in places uh, that you don't want it to go anyhow, and it's best just to put it to a halt. Uh, anyway, uh, to ask for the, you know, if you're, if you're having a problem with uh, peace, you know, uh, we have not exhausted the scriptures, you know, on peace and joy by, by any means. There, we could go on and on for hours. But if you will decide to hold on to joy and peace, you know, as bad as you hold on to joy and peace, as bad as you need air, I think you'll find you'll do it. And it's a choice. And uh, well, I know a lot of people that are loaded with the Word of God, but they still struggle uh, in, in, in these areas. Uh, and I think that we block ourselves uh, from seeing some of the promises of God manifest in our life because we're not walking forth in thanksgiving. We're not walking forth in joy and peace. And that's not because the, the Lord's like, oh, you need to give thanksgiving to me. No, it's because it's a weapon against the kingdom of darkness. When your mind is on him and you're thankful and all these kind of things, you make yourself basically impenetrable from, but from, the, from the evil side. And so, anyway, God bless you. I know that's short. Uh, and uh, have yourself a great, great day. This is Jeffrey Trojic Voyak. Uh, take care. Lord loves you. Thanks. Bye.